welcome to Tarun IS. My name is Rohit Kumar. Today I am going to discuss uh, our 26th September current affair which is completely based on the Hindu and Indian Express. This uh, news is uh, very important for your prelims 2023 and the mains exam also. So let's start the news. So first news it's uh, related to United Nations Journal Assembly. We already we know 77th United Nations General Assembly is nowadays working. So first a start. So what we are going to study in this uh, this uh, news, let's first start from first uh, relevance. The first relevance that this news is the relevance for especially bilateral, regional and global grouping and agreements involving India. It's a syllabus of UPAC mains exam GS first, GS second. So first of all that here for prelims take away or prelims point of view, you can study about the United Nations Security Councils. You can study to International Solar Alliance and you can also be a study about to United Nations General Assembly and G20 also. These four topics is a very important for prelims point of view because all these things in main sense or maybe all these things can be a study on the base of this news. So let's start the what is saying the news. News simply said that, said that simply uh, addressing the 77th United Nations General Assembly which is represented by our external affair minister Jay Sankar. So Jay Sankar just uh, external affair minister explain everything about that India's positions in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Always we name different different countries always asking about ki where is India stand? India stand the side of Russia or India stand the side of the Ukraine? India explain everything about that ki we India say that India was on the side that respect the UN Charter. India was side that respected the UN Charter and on the side of the peace. India always will follow the tranquility, the peace always. You can see the last or maybe past or history of India also. So India follow the side of the peace. India always supported the side of the peace always. So India never want that Russia and Ukraine war will extend. Okay, now also made a strong pitch for the UN Security Council should be a reform also because UN Security Councils, UN United Nations Security Councils have a five permanent member. Why should only five permanent permanent member? India is also a biggest or fifth biggest economic in the world. India also be supported to different different ever never country and all the world also so why not india should be a permanent member of united nation uh, security council so here simply india also pinches here india security councils reform should be we will already we discuss about the g20 also so g20 presidency about we already we know india will take uh, over a presidency of G20 in the upcoming month. Maybe I think December. December in G20 will held in India, especially venue is uh, Jammu and Kashmir. So it will be work with other G20 members to address the serious issues, debt, economic growth, food and energy security and environment also. And it will also reform of the governance of multilateral financial institution. So it all these things will talk in United Nations General Assembly. So maybe in exam it will be asked that 77th United Nations General Assembly is working in this year. So now one thing is also you can say India also be just uh, India assist assistance of neighbors and effort, effort to change. India you know it's a Vishwa Guru. India called as a Bishwa Guru and he always supported to neighbor country like Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Afghanistan and Pakistan also sometime. Maldives always stand with the neighbor country. So financialists, you can say a financial commodity assistance given to Sri Lanka. 
ओके एंड फूड असिस्टेंट टू म्यांमार वीट टू अफगानिस्तान सो इंडिया ऑलवेज ऑलवेज असिस्टेंट टू नेबर एंड एफोर्ड टू क्लाइमेट ऑल्सो बट वे आर द सरकैसिजम इन यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबलीज अबाउट द पाकिस्तान हेयर स्लैमिंग पाक सिंपली से दैट कि इंडिया ऑल्सो से दैट अ कंट्री दैट क्लेम टू सीक अ पीस विथ इट्स अ नेबर इंडिया से कंट्री दैट क्लेम्स टू सीक अ पीस विथ नेबर नेबर्स would never sponsor to cross border terrorism nor would he be shelter a planner of the hor horrific mumbai terrorist attack it means simply india exercised the right of reply to united nation general uh, uh, assembly about the pakistan so this is all about that united nation general assembly this news has given here and it is very important for your exam point of view so move on another another it's a very important also odisha odisha offering a cash incentive to pvtg4 marrying after eating the hindu news it sir you should know about that what is a pvtg and this question already be asked in your exam prelims paper i think in 2019 or 2019 19 i think it already be asked in the paper so first question what is a pbtg tg so pbt is so called particularly vulnerable tribal groups there is a 75 all of india in india there is a 75 pbtg group it's a but who is a so now with the questions it will be asked opelp in the prelims exam Odisha PBTG Empowerment and Livelihood Improvement Program. So this will be asked in the paper. Twenty-seven, seventy-five PBTGs in the India's total, and the most of the PBTGs, especially maximum PBTGs, live in Odisha. I think thirteen PBTGs. Okay. First of all, that you should know about that. Who is PBTG group? So keeping here, according to base of the news, keeping the. rampant child marriage among the particular vulnerable striver group of odisha in the mind and a state government is provide an incentive of 20000 for the late marriage it means so child marriage is profounded in pbt's group in the maximum in odisha so a state government trust is say that ki if pbt's group people will marries to after 18 year government will support as a incentive to 20000 rupees so point is that yeah 2400 it means simply odisha pbt is empowerment and the livelihood improvement program to all the pbt it's a you know it's a highly economic backward or you can say that a special program designed to improving the lively living conditions of and reduce the poverty among the pbtg pbt it's a you know deprived economically deprived of physically deprived mentally deprived socially deprived it means such type of the group just uh, sustain in our country it's called to the pbtg group right so a special program designed to improve the living conditions and reduce the poverty among the pbtg money is a given or uh, to a couples uh, marrying to after age of 18 year especially 20000 right so main objective is that simply because 30 32090 pbt is household among the 13 different pbt we already we say that i am a 13 pbt is group just have in a uh, odisha right in 12 district districts so 20 blocks and 12 district this 30 pbt is is a bonda dong dongaria kond dhidia it it's a difficult pronunciation so lanjia saura kutia kond hai na this is all thing you should read to about to all this thing. now about the 852 couples among the pbt is have been to given to incentive to already so this is a tribal this is all this think about the pbt all, well, one thing is also 22.85% of a state population this is 62 tribals group 
residing in Odisha and 30 are recognized as a PVTG group. So 13, it's a maximum PVTG group uh, residing in Odisha also. So total PVTG group in India is 75 and 30, 13 residing in Odisha, it's a maximum of the. So this is all about the PVTG, PVTG, okay. So move on another third, it's a related to CBI. It's not to, uh, related to CBI. It's uh, related to child pornography. You know, it's a mental seek of society that, so there is uh, operations conducted by CBI. CBI, it's called operations make chakra. So operation make chakra, simply 50 under CBI, a scanner over a child pornography. This news is given in the Hindu and it's a, Relevance of exam is social empowerment, social empowerment. But in the prelims, maybe it will be asked that what is the operations make chakra and what is operations of carbon? There is two program conducted by CBI, especially for the, uh, just over the child pornography, uh, a scanner over the child pornography. So what is news here? News simply that the CBI, it's also be called to Central Bureau Investigation. It is a, one of the powerful investigations body in the world. So CBI recently conducted a search operation. Search operation same across the across 20 states and the one union territory. It's a pan-India drive against to circulation and sharing of child sexual abuse materials. Child sexual abuse materials about that. CBI conducted and this search thus over a 50% have a come under this a scanner. So this, so maybe it will be asked you what is the operation make, so operation make, operations make name given to the operation chakra, operation chakra, operation make chakra also related to sharing pen drive, it's against to the circulations of sharing of child sexual material. The search 50 and the search was conducted in especially Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, Delhi Union, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Jharkhand, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Goa, Karnataka, Telangana and Tamil Nadu. These 13 states have conducted film. Okay. And the prime, primarily scrutiny of the device using to cyber forensic tools and all these things used in this. Now move on. Another point is also last November. Agency was also conducted to one program is called to operations carbon. So operations carbon, operations carbon, it means a number agency has a launch a similar exercise code name is operations carbon. It's a premises of suspected 13 states and the one union territory was the search 76 location and person named to FIR was booked under the relevance to about the IPCN IT Act, Information Technology Act. So this is related to make its operations make chakra and operations carbon, right? So it will be asked in the paper. Move on to another news. This news is also very important and this news is given in the Hindu, okay? The Hindu. What is? Simply it's a news say that at DEF Expo 2022, DEF Expo India, Africa Defense Dialogue on the Anvil here. Relevance of this exam here, relevance indigenous of technology and developing new technology. And the prelims it will be asked, DEF Expo 2022, DEF Expo 2020. So what is the DEF Expo? So it's uh, the forthcoming DEF Expo 2022, okay? So as scheduled, in Gandhinagar. Gandhinagar, it's a capital of uh, Gujarat. Next month, it will be host as the second edition of India Africa Defense Dialogue. India and Africa Defense Dialogue. And India invited uh, have been extended, I think, uh, 53 African countries. 53 invited have been extended to 53 African countries. A separate Indian Oceans region plus also and conclaves to party participations of the approximately 40 countries also here. So this all these things, 40 countries, 53 African countries by all these things. 
and what is the diff expo so one questions here what is the diff expo 2022 diff expo will see here partic participations only to indian company first maybe and the questions on the option it will be give that so it will be participation so by only indian companies earlier postponed it due to the logistic challenges due to the war in ukraine began on fab and fab 2024 fab 24 or and one thing is also here so indian companies indian subsidies foreign original equipment what is the theme path of path to pride and what is the aim of def expo the aim of def expo here to might of domestic defense industry which is now powering make in india make for the world resolve of the government and the nations at the large so this is all about it's a four very very important topic which is given in the hindu and indian space so it will be very important for you exam so for today thank you very much if you want to watch a mcq on the base of this current affair press the i button here definitely you will get thank you very much for today